Yo, thanks for having me over and letting me cook at your house today. Usually it's people coming over to my house, so it's a nice change of pace. Don't worry, I bought all the ingredients. I'd like to get some prep work out of the way before Rin gets here. And you know how Saber is, always eager to eat. Today, I'm going to be making hanbaku. It's nice and simple. You want to lend a hand? Sure. Saber's more than happy waiting, and I'm more than happy to oblige. Let's sharpen these knives first before we get started. Sharpening knives reminds me a lot of sharpening swords, you know? Man, I love swords so much. Alright, first thing first, let's mince the garlic and the onions. For this, we'll use two onions and two uh, cloves of garlic. Normally the recipe calls for one, but uh, we have a little bit more beef than I expected. The butcher gave me a little bit more, so we'll be using two cloves of garlic to balance it out. We'll set aside about a quarter of the onions after we cut it and then use the garlic for the sauce later. The leftover bits will saute half and leave the other half raw. Let's mince this one first and then we'll set it aside later for the sauce. Thanks for helping me peel these, by the way. Peeling onions. Fridge is being weird. Your fridge is weird, man. We want these minced pretty finely since they're turning into a sauce. I'm not, I'm not crying. You're crying. Now we can just kind of chop it up. We want it real fine. You know, this is one of the first dishes I learned to make growing up. I mean, I made a lot of other things, but they were more simple back then, you know? Onigiri, soba, the usual things that don't need a lot of steps. This was one of the first multi-layered recipes I had to learn as a kid. Now we can chop clove and garlic. Oh, yeah, it's frozen. I freeze a lot of garlic. Still tastes fine though, once you heat it up.
we want it minced as well. Set that aside. for our sauce. We got a lot more onions to cut through, so but you're a big help. Now that, the, now that all the onions are done, let's get them cooking. They're gonna take a long time. We want them nice and caramelized. All right, first we start with a little bit of oil. Let's get the heat on. We'll need to stir fry this for about 20 minutes on a low to medium heat. We want this nice and caramelized. About half of the raw onions. We'll keep the other half for later. Why don't you help me keep an eye on the onions while I go mix the rest of the ingredients? Just give the onions a stir every now and then uh, so they don't burn. Thanks. Next, we want to mix the meat with a little bit of salt until we get to a kind of paste-like consistency. I'm using ground beef for this one. A generous pinch of salt. And then we can start mixing. All right, let's mix this meat up. The onions turned out great, by the way. Good job on sautéing them. Now, let's mix the meat with one egg, a little bit of panko, our raw onions, and finally, the onions you just sautéed. All right, let's just finish mixing up this little bit. We're almost done. Last but not least, we'll need some freshly cracked black pepper. Next step is the fun part. You can help with this too, but you might want to wash your hands first and after. It's a little, um, little, it's a little messy. We're going to form the hamburger into balls. 
We want all the air pockets out, so we just kind of toss them back and forth between our hands like we're playing catch with ourselves. Or maybe juggling swords would be a decent analogy. Swords. Oh man, I should make some swords. Oh, I'm getting distracted here. All right, all right. let's get started. We want them to be about 1.5 centimeters thick once we're done. How big do you want your humbaku? That's one done. Now it's for the hard part. We're gonna have to wait or else they're gonna fall apart the moment we put them in the pan. I know, it's tough. But hey, it gives us an opportunity to prepare the sauce and some sides. We'll need to let them sit for about half an hour. Hmm. What do you wanna eat for sides? Hmm. Oh, you have a cucumber? Okay, we can just slice that up and have a couple cucumber slices on the side. That should be okay. The burger itself has a lot of onions and stuff, so I'm sure it'll be super filling. For the sauce, we're going to saute some garlic and some olive oil, and then afterwards, some onions. We saute the garlic first so we can get the flavor out first, and infuse the oil, you know? Next, we want to add some soy sauce. Three tablespoons is about okay. Say, you wouldn't happen to have uh, any vinegar, would you? Oh, darn, it's the one thing I forgot. I was supposed to combine it with some Worcestershire sauce. Uh, it's okay. Um, oh, I know. Uh, do you have ketchup? That's great. Ketchup should do just fine. We'll just swap out the vinegar for uh, and the sugar with ketchup. The three tablespoons of soy sauce. followed by three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Finally, three packets of ketchup. Talk about a lifesaver. Ketchup's mostly sugar anyways, so. Though, I wasn't expecting the tomato -y flavor to be part of this dish, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Now we, now we just have to wait for the sauce to reduce a bit, and this should be ready to eat. Of course, we'll wait for the patties to cook before pouring it on top. Oh, mm, that's really good. All right, now that the sauce is finished boiling, all we gotta do is wait for those hamburgers to cool down, and then we can get to frying. All right, let's grow the hambaku now. First, we start with a thin layer of oil on a relatively low heat. Oh, 
Oh, the recipe? Uh, I learned it off of TV when I was a kid. Hasn't failed me yet. You know, this dish means a lot to me. It was one of my dad's favorites. He traveled around the world a whole lot and said that the hamburgers in Germany were good. So I really wanted to make something just as good so he wouldn't have to travel as much. It was uh, a bit of a kid's dream, but I really strived for it. I wanted to get even better at cooking so I could see him make that smile the first time I made these hanbaku for him. <laughs> oh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Sorry. This dish always makes me a bit nostalgic. On to the last step. All right, now that the meat is grilling, we want to grill it for about three minutes before we flip it. Probably once a nice crust has formed at the bottom so it doesn't, you know, fall apart. Once one of the sides becomes white, we'll flip it over and cook it for another three minutes. Oh, and uh, in the meantime, could you get me a toothpick? Thanks. When I was a kid, it would usually be Fujime that helped me cook. Actually, she would mostly just sit and watch. You'd think the older kid would be the one cooking, but nope. It's nice having an extra set of hands that won't burn the kitchen, though. Alright, now we can flip. Here it goes. Looking good. are up. We want to turn off the heat. Put a lid on it. This way we can let the patty steam and, you know, make sure it's fully cooked. You don't want to eat raw beef now, especially if it's ground. So much. Wait, what? All right, you want to do the owners? Take that toothpick uh, I told you to grab, and we're going to make a small poke into one of the patties. If the juice comes out clear and not red, that means the meat's all cooked. If not, we have to let it cook for a little bit longer. Looks good to me. You want to turn the heat back onto low for just two more minutes. Finally, for the last step, let's turn up the heat all the way to max. Just for a couple of seconds so we can really get a crispy bottom. There we go. Oh, and I think we're ready to plate. All right, let's plate. First, our patty. Hamburger. Next, a couple of cucumbers. Gotta stay healthy, you know? How can I be a hero of justice without eating my vegetables?
finally our sauce. Complete. Thanks for helping me cook. You are a great sous chef. You should come over to my house next time. Saber and I will be happy to have you for dinner. Saber, food is ready. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs>